Hey, Phantomaniacs, welcome to the newest unboxing here on the Needless Things YouTube channel. We are wrapping up our Valiverse week with two Action Force weapons packs, Weapons Pack Alpha and Weapons Pack Bravo. Uh, I ordered these because I just wanted to get a feel for what we were going to be seeing weapons-wise in the Valiverse line. And if you watched uh, the other videos I put up this week of Steel Brigade, Sergeant Slaughter, and the Urban camo republic guard uh you'll notice i mentioned that the weapons all had holes in the barrels for blast effects and i what i wasn't positive if these sets had blast effects or not and sure enough they do which is awesome uh so here we go we got two different sets of weapons and we're just going to take a look at these real quick uh the detail the paint and everything else so let's start at the beginning with weapons pack alpha cool little cardboard box that is shaped like uh, sort of a loadout kit. It just looks very cool. I love this. Uh, love that Action Force logo. Very classy, very cool. Simple, efficient. I like it. All right, now let's see. There we go. I'm very excited for this line. Uh, if you did not watch, the other three videos of Action Force figures, I highly recommend you go back and check them out. Uh, this line, I, I will say, has exceeded my expectations overall. I, I, I'm i going to go back and order more. They're available now from BigBadToyStore.com, Dorkside Toys uh, from Valiverse.com. Uh, basically, your, your favorite toy re retailers and obviously the Valiverse website uh, all have these. Uh, and I believe everywhere has them in stock and available to ship now. So I recommend you go take a look at them, pick out a, a figure or character that you like, uh, and get one of these figures in your hands. So you can see lots of paint on these. Lots of detail. Very, very high quality stuff. So first... Let's take a look at our blast effects because we're going to have some fun with those as we take a look at these weapons. Uh, so you've got a beautiful translucent blast effect. Uh, looks great. It's got your standard peg on the front there that will work with, I believe, most six inch scale action figure lines have adopted this peg size, whatever the heck it is. I don't know off the top of my head. Uh, if you want to let me know in the comments, feel free. I always like to hear input from you guys. When you have information that I don't. Uh, and you'll notice that this one does not have a peg. That's because, let's see here. It should. And there you go. Because that barrel is too small to support the peg. So instead it plugs into, there we go, plugs into the blast effect. And I'd be very careful with these because your action force weapons are rigid plastic. It's sturdy. I have not had any issues yet. It feels good. Uh, but I also, you know, be careful handling this. If, if you're a big goon and you start slinging this thing around, you're, you're possibly, possibly going to snap some parts off. Uh, but I mean, they feel good. It doesn't feel like cheap plastic. And my gosh, I love that it's not rubber. So, uh, and you can see all of the detail on this. I am not uh, a military expert. I am not a gun expert. So I could not tell you the names of any of these or what they're supposed to be based on. I'm basically the guy that can look at it and go, man, that's a cool looking rifle. And man, this is a cool looking rifle. I love the scope. I love the, I mean, just the crispness. I'm trying to get it as close as I can so you guys can see just how sharp the detail is in this thing. I mean, it's really, really impressive. And then of course we've got, uh, as is standard. Now, I've got a pile of magazines over here, so it might be a little trial and error as to which one fits into where. Uh, that guy doesn't want to go in there. 
I don't mind. The, oh, there we go. So you're there. Got a magazine locked and loaded, ready to go. Absolutely beautiful. Let's go ahead and leave that uh, blast effect on there, too. Oh, man. Look at that beauty. I love it. All right. Next up, another cool-looking piece, great paint, great sculpted detail. We've got what looks like a suppressor on the front here, which gives us enough barrel to insert one of the pegged blast effects. And your Valiverse figures uh, can achieve a two-handed grip on these things. So any of these rifles that you see that have the front grip on them, uh, these guys are going to be able to hold them that way. Now let's check out our magazines and see which one fits into this guy. There we go. I'm loving this arsenal that Valiverse is letting us build. Uh, this is the same rifle that came with Steel Brigade uh, and that came in the Urban Camo Assault set. Uh, let's see, Urban Gear set that was reviewed yesterday. Uh, and it has a slightly different paint job than the Steel Brigade. And of course, very different from the uh, Urban set. So that's another thing that I'm really liking is we're getting some color variation here. All right. Is that maybe... Nope. Hadn't found that one yet. And there we go. Slides right in. And what's cool is this one has a grenade launcher. The grenade launcher also features... You know what? We're probably going to want to take that one out. And we get a little grenade firing, and I know we're not going to be... Oh, okay, so this, this is interesting because it looks like... Obviously, that's unlikely to happen at the same time, but how cool does that look, right? Love it. All right, and then we have very familiar weapon to anybody who grew up watching G.I. Joe. This one... Uh, very, I, I don't know how licensed any of this is, but I mean, it looks like the AK-47. Uh, got the great clip in there. I would love to have a bunch of these to give to my classified series Cobra troops. Just very well done. Again, just how sharp is the detail on this thing? Really, really beautiful. I would like it very much if Valiverse would offer like 10 AKs, 10 of one rifle, 10 of another rifle. Uh, we've got this cool looking piece right here. Very James Bond looking like the bad guy sniper in a James Bond. Is this, is this straight out of GoldenEye? I don't know. I told you guys, I'm not an expert. Then our big bad grenade launcher with, it looks like, I don't know if that's actually removable, but it does, I don't know that it wants to rotate all the way around, but it's got a little movement there. I feel like that should pop out of there, but I don't want to sit here and strain this thing if it's not meant to be strained. Uh, but it is a separate piece and it just looks better that way. I love being able to see the lines uh, through here. Looks great. And we've got this bad boy. Uh, does not have a removable clip, but does look awesome. All one color, just black, which is fine. Uh, as much as I like the painted detail on the guns, I do appreciate just a straight up black gun too. Got another assault rifle here. Also very, very reminiscent of a Cobra rifle. Just plain black, but still with all of that beautifully sculpted detail. And... 
pretty sturdy. Uh, again, don't, you know, don't mishandle these, but they're not just going to snap on you. The cool pistol that came with Steel Brigade. Great looking pistol. And finally, a little more conventional pistol here. Again, all black, but beautifully sculpted. And again, with uh, all of them have uh, some method of accommodating the blast effects. Uh, and then just a bunch of magazines. So that is Weapons Pack Alpha. Let's open up Weapons Pack Bravo and see if when we're done, we will be saying Bravo. Ooh, I see some fancy color in this one, you guys. Whoa. Okay. I'm curious to see, because I just ordered these just to get some, some bags of guns. I really didn't look too closely at what was actually in them. Uh, so this is cool. Look, we've got uh, basically a gung-ho hat. It is a softer plastic than Sarge's hat, so you get a little flexibility there. That's great. I love it. Uh, as a matter of fact, I guess I should go ahead and just go grab Gung Ho and see how that hat sits on his big old noggin. So hang on just a second. Okay, so here's Gung Ho uh, looking, you know, like they decided to make him look in classified. No commentary on that. I'm going to pull his cover off there. You can see it's a completely different, like, Sami Zayn looking hat, basically. And then we've got this one. A little sharper, a little more detailed. The shape seems a little more right. Let's see if we can squeeze that onto his big old head. And uh, I'm going to give that a solid sort of. Well, well, there goes that. Whatever. We're not here to review Gung Ho. Okay, so there's there's the Action Force cap. And there's the gun. Well, they fit about the same, don't they? Which is not great. So here you go. Anyway, Weapons, weapons Pack Bravo includes cool military hat, cap. Got this great looking piece right here, which is simply a different color from the rifle that was seen in the alpha set. This thing is absolutely beautiful. What the heck, this golden. Okay, obviously uh, the magazines are a little easier to match up in this one than they were in the other one. I am in love with this thing. Those colors are just fantastic. And uh, again, I believe we've just got another repaint here. But I really dig this kind of thing. This looks great. This is this is uh, maybe Cobra Commander's personal rifle. Looks awesome. Uh, put it and the extra magazines out of the way over here. We've got a really mean looking weapon, bladed weapon. So it's not just guns. We're also getting some cool bladed weapons as well. You can see really nicely sculpted detail. The paint here on the blade looks great. We've got an automatic and a nice olive drab with the black detail on the top there. Got another one, a uh, different style, but it's a gunmetal with the black handle. It looks really nice. And again, all of these uh, have the plugs in the front for those great looking blast effects. How cool is that? And then again, this is a repaint, but looks great with the olive drab on it. Another repaint.
this beautiful big old golden gun. I guess it's re it's really more of a bronze. Uh, if there is significance to that, please let me know in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Uh, but it just looks awesome. I love it. Nice little shotgun going on here. But really one of the best detailed shotguns you've seen in this scale. Beautiful piece. And of course, blast effect really just finishes it off nicely. All of this stuff feels very sturdy to me. Uh, I, I have not been concerned about breaking any of it. I'm being careful, but I haven't felt like, ooh, if I do that too much the wrong way, it's just going to snap like a twig uh, or, or like a very thin piece of ABS. You know, and having said that, now I get to a part with a clip for the bipod, and I actually am a little nervous about breaking something here. I'm going to get that in there as carefully as I possibly can. Oh, man. All right. Uh, I'm going to heat this up. I don't want to blow everything off the table, so give me just a second here. I've got the hair dryer going. I'm going to give it a one, two, three four, five. I realize that was very visually exciting. Thank you for watching needless things. Uh, but just five seconds of heat. Mm, nope. Okay. I'm going to handle that later on. <laughs> so uh, for the time being, what we have is great looking machine gun, great looking Look at that. And this is a softer plastic here. So we've got some flexibility with those. And that is going to clip right onto the side there. Maybe. Hmm. We might have run into our first problem weapon because this... Am I doing that wrong? I might be. Oh, that, my fault. My bad. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. So this actually plugs into the bottom. I told you I am not a weaponry expert. I am a, hey, that's a cool looking toy gun guy. Uh, and then we feed our bullets into the top there. And that is how that is supposed to look. Very cool. I'm going to put our blast effect on the front. And slide right onto that barrel. That's a little bit of a loose fit on this one. I wonder, let's see, if these might be a little different. No, they're, well, you know what? It's actually impressive that both of these fit exactly the same. Uh, so, I mean, it, it goes on, and it'll stay on, but it is a little looser than it is on the other uh, rifles. So this bipod is going to be a little bit of a challenge to get onto that clip. I'm not going to sit here and mess with it now, but I am confident that I'll get it on. It's just going to take some doing. Uh, you guys, again, I'll say it. I've been saying it all week long. I am a fan of Action Force. I am a fan of what Valiverse has done with this armory, with these figures, I encourage you to go to your favorite retailer or valiverse.com, pick out some action force stuff that, that appeals to you, order it and get it in your hands. I I'm digging it. I'm really digging it. You guys, thank you for watching. Please like subscribe, share, tell your friends about needless things and uh, go check out some action force. Thanks a lot. You guys. Smash that like button. If you like needless things.